Okay, I'm going to restart this over. Cute house in Paramount on Broderick. It's nice. It's nice that it's fully landscaped. It does have the rock as well. The street is all completed, which is nice too. So no new construction. Oh, is it plus? Get a little area out here. Gray and white, and then this blue door. And then walking in. Oops, okay. So I gotta go and turn the lights on so it's not so dark. But I just got this beadboard trim in this little entry area. And then I'm going to walk all the way inside the house. Oops, here it is. And then I'm going to open these up so we can really see what everything looks like. Okay, so it does have a... I don't know how you feel. I like it. It's got um, in the backyard. Well, I'll show that to you. Anyway, so here's the living. Ah, oh, very similar to the Todd Campbell. And you see what they did here? That's where they put their TV, most likely. Oh, no, they didn't. Their TV's here. Never mind. So they did do it up here, but they did get rid of that one shelf in there. It's got little windows. Those little windows have lines up there. Tiles surround. Um, this is carpeted. This carpet's in great shape. Uh, very nice kitchen. Still don't have all these lights on. Great pantry. You know what? I'm confused because this says it's vacant, but I, I don't get it because somebody lives there. <laughs> nice pantry, a little more pantry area here, single oven, microwave. Here is this little, um, kind of, well, this is coming off the garage. And then this is kind of like a little area, dumping area, mudroom type of area thing. And it's got the storage that goes all the way underneath this staircase. So then here I am back at the front door. So the bedroom down here, whoops, here's this uh, little bedroom that they're using as a nursery. And then the bathroom is right across the hall from it. So this does kind of make a nice little guest suite area, but it's your only room down here then too. So this is either project room and full bath or, um, or it could be like Michael's bedroom and a full bath, but then the project rooms would all have to be up here. Oh, I forgot to go in the master. The master's downstairs too. So sorry about that. So here's what they call the bonus room. Nice big room up here, off to the left of the stairs. And then here is what they're calling an additional rec room. Does have a closet, so I guess this could be technically another bedroom, but it's got these slider French doors. So, I don't know. This room doesn't have a closet. It's a true bonus. But I almost think with the door situation, this would be more private than this one for another bedroom if you wanted it. Then up here, bedroom one. Goes back in. So that's nice. Across the hall, bedroom two.
bedroom three. Oh, and then this is just a big linen closet. So it has three bedrooms up here. And then that bedroom shares this bathroom. This bathroom is pretty nice. It's very big. I will say the finishes in here are really nice because it's all tiled already with a real tub. Um, so anyone who's using the bedrooms up here would all have to share this bathroom. But the way it's divided out is kind of nice because somebody could be showering and or using the toilet, whatever, and somebody else could be just here in this area, vanity area. So bedroom one, two, three, the linen closet, big closet up here. So you'd have to climb upstairs, but this would make a good quilt, like just a good quilting room. And then you've got all the closet for that. And then you have this. So that would be a great project room, bonus room. And then have Michael stay downstairs. And then if Michael moves out, that's more of a, just a guest room down there or life later on if Megan has other babies and that could be the baby's room. And then I'm gonna go back. I, I totally missed the master. And the master's gonna be just off the kitchen here. There's the utility room. And then you walk back into the master. And then here's the bathroom. So it is a bit higher price point. I don't know if they'd take less or not. They've only been on the market two days. But this house is probably take, worth taking a look at. I mean, I like it enough that um, it just offers you a lot for the money. So I like it enough. I, I would recommend looking at it. This is, I believe, a west-facing backyard. It's got this patio cover. Um, and then I don't know about you, like a lot of people don't like yards like this because they lack privacy, but I personally like them because you have nobody behind you. Um, privacy in your backyard, it's not really like you're sunbathing naked, so. And then just have access. I don't know where this goes. It's just like a little play area out here. So we'd have to look at this on the map as to where the nearest um, swimming pool is in here. I know there's a couple pools in this community. So anyway, this is a great little house. Has the rock. So, okay, I'm gonna send this to you guys. Um, but this is one I do recommend uh, we come back and look at after we're finished with Century Farm tonight. It's a good value. Nice detail. All the blinds are in. Well, that's always nice. Guest bedroom, stairs going upstairs, mudroom area. Yeah, this is a good one. Serving kisses, who hates that? Could it take me two of those? I'll have dark chocolate too. 